Hello, this is Jeff Taylor with another video from Engineering to Excel. This time we're going to go through an extended project, a long tutorial broken up in several parts of building an autonomous robot car. Because it's a little more involved, I'm going to be taking you through the entire engineering process that I typically go through in my job as a process and automation engineer. So first we're going to create a project scope and that will define what the project is, what the project is not, uh, our budget, what our key milestones are and things like that. After that we'll get into the design phase where we'll design our robot based on our scope, our project scope. Once we have a solid design we will then go ahead and purchase the parts that we need and build it once it arrives. That's a part that I know I really get excited about when we finally get to the build phase of a project and you get to finally see all your hard work turning into something real that you can touch, that you can see. So that'll be really fun in that, in that video. After we have our design built, we will then go ahead and do some testing to make sure that it actually accomplishes the scope that we originally defined. So we're gonna build an obstacle course, put it down in the obstacle course, turn it on, make sure it goes. Make sure it doesn't hit anything, because that's kind of the objective of this entire project. And then at the very end, we'll take some of the lessons learned through this process, recap those, make sure that we learn all that we can from this engineering design process. I hope that you guys will comment along the way so that we can learn, possibly from your ideas, that we may want to change or adapt as we're going along, as long as it's still within our project scope. And we'll just have a good time doing it. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial series, make sure to like and subscribe, and then tune into the following videos as we go through how to make an autonomous robot car.